Well, how convenient. Rowley and I are trying to get jobs done today and it's a full moon and everything is flooded. Apparently this happens like six to eight times a year. There's a traffic jam, like no one can do anything in town until the tide goes out. So we're going to go back to the boat. <laughs> It's summertime and living is easy. So Drew from the marina here was saying that they built the marina office in the 1960s and um, because of sea level rise um, it gets flooded. Be aware of the king tide. Lenny absolutely loves this position. Many years ago I used to scaffold for a guy in Adelaide. And a couple of important things is you want to have your arm out, which makes the muscles on your shoulder pop up because normally you're holding a piece of metal here and you don't want that digging down into the bone. That's It's not your clavicle, but it's whatever one is just sits at the top of your shoulder there. And that's also important when you're holding a baby. They, they are... <laughs> They are a lot softer than a piece of metal. Are you enjoying this? Uh, but it is important to make sure that you've got your arm up, cocked, so that you're popping those muscles out to protect your shoulder because gonna, he's going to be spending a lot of time up here so you don't want any sort of damage. But also important to uh, make sure that you've got hold of the baby so you want, <laughs> you want a firm grasp below the knee so that's going to stop it from sliding over. You could catch him at the foot but that's not a guarantee and can also result in a jolt of the baby. So make sure that you're holding just below the knee. It's also really good because you can tell if there's anything has been happening down here. Alright, that's enough. So This mold got into my shoes. Look at that. <laughs> Very strange. I've never had mold grow on my shoes before. It's usually only ever on the walls and we come back um, having left the boat for an extended period of time. So I'm in the bathroom scrubbing all of my shoes. It comes off pretty easy. Um, but I'm just going to make sure I disinfect this entire bathroom after I do it because it's just filthy. What are you up to? Oh, the pole looks good. And yes, Lenny. You look good too. Lenny, say hi. Say hi. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> it's 11 o'clock. You should probably come inside. I just, I just can't get any work done. It's like impossible. <laughs> I need to take him inside, alright? Yeah, okay. We have a stressed out captain, you guys. Lenny has not had the best day today. He's just been crying his head off and like we're trying to get jobs done so that we can leave and I think Riley's just really stressed out. He feels like we'll never be able to go. It's just one thing after another. He's outside um, splicing uh, rope, trying to get the anchor and chain ready. He's marking that on the jetty. And uh, we've been applying for Lenny's B1B2 visa. Um, we have to go to the post office. I've been trying to do a bunch of editing lately, and um, it's just like, yeah, jobs now take twice as long. And I think Riley's just really struggling to deal with that. And he's super keen to go sailing, like you would not believe. Anyway, I also wanted to add in that I'm really excited for what's to come. We're going to be sailing down the coast of the US and then we're going to do the jump over to the Bahamas and we're hoping to visit some islands we haven't been to before um, with beautiful coral reefs and um, we're hoping to dive with the tiger sharks. And we're also meeting up with some really cool people which we're excited to share with you very soon. It's going to be good once we get out of here. Not that Charleston hasn't been fun, it has been awesome, but we're ready to go especially Riley. And Lenny's keen for his first sale, aren't you, mate? Are you excited for your first sale? I don't think you're excited for much right now, are you? You just want cuddles. All right. So I've just uh, spliced the rope onto the anchor chain because we lost it out over here. Lenny's a bit upset. Thanks for looking after him. That's all right, my pleasure. 
Hey, I like your jumper. They're pretty new cool. Merch, new merch. Get another that one. Turn around. Turn around. Sick. It looks really good, hey. Okay. Yeah. Pretty good. I lost it a bit here, but that'll definitely hold. What's next? We gotta come in on it all. Really? Yeah. Oh cool. Alright. It's done. Awesome. <laughs> Guys, this is a day to remember. It's the day that Riley let me buy some clams to have on board. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When we first got the boat, he always said he the less stuff in here the better. But it's been yeah two years now, and I really need some plants in here. They make me feel alive and happy. I managed to get away with having a big oregano plant in my kitchen here. That survives pretty well. Herbs do so. I managed to get a bunch of herbs which I'm going to plant in this really cool thing that I bought. It's like a it's really sciencey looking like test tubes and a brass thing that's going to wrap around the pole here. Um, but we got this succulent plant in the corner and also another plant over here that I've named bonsai. I'm going to plant these herbs. You guys say herbs. We say herbs. Basil. I've got basil, mint and parsley. And I'm just hoping that this tree just grows all over the roof. I'm clearly very excited. <laughs> God, your hands are so slimy. <laughs> you should see his. Slimy hands. Yeah. I could only imagine. You must throw me in. Today's episode was brought to you by Skillshare, who we've been teaming up with lately. Uh, we're really happy to be rocking online learning because that's how Riley and I learn here on the boat while we're sailing around. Skillshare has over 25,000 classes in design, business and more. Premium membership gives you unlimited access so you can join all the communities and the classes that are right for you. There are over 7 million creators learning with Skillshare so join us in fueling your creativity, your curiosity or even a career. Are you growling? He growled at me first. <laughs> Lenny started growling, it's really fun. We get stuck into the photography and the video classes and um, yeah, we've learnt a lot over the past year which we're really happy about. And it's super affordable with an annual subscription of less than $10 per month. But today though, Skillshare are letting you try it out for free for two months. So if you click the link in the description below, um, you can get your hands on that and see if you like it. I really think you will. That's all from us. Um, join us on Monday as we go sailing. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> we're pretty excited too. To be leaving. Thanks for watching as always, give the video a like and share it with your friends, that'd be great.